Hi, Jason Fladlin here, and I want to show you how easy it is to clone and deploy a WordPress blog. What you see before you is a very complicated blog right here. In fact, if we peek in the admin area, you'll notice we have 315 comments, 27 posts, 7 pages, 6 categories. We have the thesis theme running here, which has its own myriad of options. And we also have wishlist membership plugin rocking and rolling here. And in fact, if you look a little bit closer, you'll see that we have 143 members currently. Okay, so this is at copyeclass.com slash members. What I'm going to do is clone this first of all. So how do you clone this? It's really simple. Open up your favorite FTP program. I prefer FileZilla. Now connect to your server. In this case, we're connecting to Copy e Class, And then we're going to go and we're going to find the members area, which was called members, because that's where our WordPress is at. Now that we're there, we're going to take this wptwin.php file and simply drag and drop it. What's the next step? It's really simple. We're just going to go to the area where we just put that file in, which was wptwin.php. Okay. Now that we're there, it says create your clone. Click the button below. So let's click that button. Okay, now this is in real time. Did you see how quickly it cloned that site? That's fast. If you ever want to make just a backup, you can do that. So we've made that, and now let's save this. Okay. So we're saving this. It's downloading right now, as you can see, and it's only taken a few seconds. Okay, there it is. And you can see I made a backup earlier, and now here's the newest and latest backup. Let's delete this clone. Okay, the clone is deleted. Awesome. All right, what do we do next? Well, what we're going to do next is we're going to deploy this clone. And we want to move it over to here, okay? We want to clone the blog so it shows up on jasonfladlin.org. Now, there's nothing there right now. That's where we're going to put our blog. So what do we do? Okay. Well, first of all, let's go in here and to our cPanel now and set up a new blog instance real quickly at jasonfladlin.org. Okay. So we're going to go to Fantastico, just like we normally would when we set up WordPress. Click on WordPress here, new installation. And now what's cool is I'm just going to install it in the root directory here. And for all these things, I'm just going to put test because the only two things it doesn't clone are site name, clone example, in description for you to see okay so we click install finish installation and now there we go and in fact if we go now now if we go back to jasonfladlin.org you can see we got standard WordPress installed here okay the latest version of uh, WordPress installed here great now let's clone it okay cloning it is really cool because here's what you do the first thing you do is you open up your FTP program again, and this time you connect to your new server, which is in this case jasonfladlin.org. Okay, so we're going to do that. And we now go to where our WordPress is installed, which is right here. And there's two things that we're going to upload. The first thing that we're going to upload is our little clone here that we made, which is in that zip file. And the second thing that we're going to upload here is this WP twin deploy.php file that comes with your download package okay so as you see here now we're already 35 percent of the way done the deploy is already uploaded uh, I'm not gonna pause this this is gonna be in real time we have about 10 seconds left and so your file is gonna depend on how massive your blog is now that was a pretty big blog on my part but you see it doesn't take that long to deploy this clone but still when we're done we're gonna go to where the WP twin deploy.php file is located at in this case, it's on jasonfladlin.org slash wptwindeploy.php. So we go to that site, okay? Now we have to activate this and validate this because only buyers, of course, can use this. That way, nobody can steal this from you or anything. So you validate it by putting in your email address, which you purchased this from. So I'll put mine in there right now. Okay, and now that we've done that, we have some options here. All we have to do is just click Deploy Clone. It's found the, uh, it's found the clone because we've uploaded the zip file, so we click Deploy Clone. And now we just give it a few seconds to take the clone and deploy it now to the new site. Okay, and you can see, Site Clone Deployed. Click here to view. Okay, so now look at jasonfladlin.org. Here is our clone site. There is no denying it, all right? And everything is cloned. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. So if we were going to go and log into the wp-admin area, as you'll see right here, everything is cloned. 27 posts, 7 pages, 6 categories, 315 comments, jasonfladlin.org slash wp-admin. Okay? Wish list is configured properly, and if you look at that, you'll see we have 143 members in there, and we've just cloned a blog. 
because if we go back over to copyeclass.com slash members, and actually let's log in there as well so you can see the difference between the two. And you'll find there are no differences between the two other than one thing. This has a different title. That's the only difference is the title we specified is different. But as you can see here, if we go back to the dashboard, 27 posts, 315 comments. 27 posts, 315 comments. Copyeclass.com, clone example. All right, I'm hoping you're seeing the benefit in this because simply put, you can clone anything. You saw here I cloned something with both thesis and wish list. Okay, this will clone anything, any version. As you can see here, we're not even in WordPress 3.01. It'll take your version and it'll make the same exact version on a new server. So think of the applications of this. You could do this if you have a theme that you use over and over again. You can do this if you set up affiliate micro niche sites that all take the same plugins that are configured the exact same way. You could do this as a web designer or an offline service for people. They don't have to know that you just push a couple buttons like I just showed you and you're cloning websites over and over and over and over again. I mean the possibilities are endless. Read every word on this page and watch the other two videos and you'll see for yourself the power of this WP twin script.